Hey guys, how's it going? This is Andrew with Advanced PCs. Alrighty, so I have a video today for you guys. I want to show you guys how to install, uh, uh, download, install, and run Malwarebytes for the first time. Okay, uh, Malwarebytes. If you guys are not aware, Malwarebytes is an application. is is pretty much in the, pretty much now in the antivirus um, industry, considered an antivirus and it gets rid of viruses and other malwares um, that's like locking up your computer if you're experiencing some difficulties with your computer so let me jump right into it what you want to do is head on over to malwarebytes.com and I will leave the in the description a link to where you can actually go to install it so you don't have to go through all this but uh, what you could do you could start out with the free version the free version is a 14-day trial of the premium um, and it'll get started so let's say your computer is really problematic and you wanna and you you're you're pretty confident that it has a virus of some kind you can download you can start here and download Malwarebytes um, version, the free version. Now, if you notice, it says here, thanks for downloading the 14-day trial, right? So, um, yeah, that's what you're getting. It's like a 14-day trial, right? And as you can see, actually, <laughs> I actually installed it before. So I installed and ran it already, um, um, which is why it's creating a, another one. But no worries, we're still gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys the process, okay? Alrighty, so you would go once it's downloaded, click on the executable, say yes when you're prompted. When Windows gives you that prompt, hey, do you want to run this program? And then you're presented with this screen. You want to say install. Now, you're given these two options. You have um, my organization or me and my family. Now, if you're in an office, if you're in, a, if you're, uh, in an office environment, a business, then you want to select this option right here. If you suspect my computers or your IT people suspect the computers in the office are loaded with viruses and stuff like that, you can you can get started here. Uh, in most cases, what's going to happen is you're going to it's going to be for yourself or for your family. It's going to be for like the individual. So we're going to go ahead with this option. We're going to say next. Now the installation process is pretty simple. I mean, pretty simple. Yes and also it's pretty fast so it goes through the process pretty fast the installation process literally like within a minute so I, these are the things i just wanted to demonstrate to you guys just to show you um you know how to install it what to do how simple it is to install it uh things like that okay almost done and that's it all right that was roughly about a minute if not less you want to click on done. Let's minimize this puppy. Now, what it's going to do by default is going to is going to launch the program automatically once the installation is complete. And it's also, if you notice, we have a little icon here, shortcut icon for Malwarebytes on the desktop, which is pretty convenient. Now, um, what you're going to be presented with here is detecting, you know, detection history scanner and real-time protection. It's going to tell you all the stuff that Malwarebytes is, what it's doing, and these are like, you know, um, clients or customers review. Uh, it, it has a 4.8 out of 5 rating, which is pretty good. Okay. Um, if you also notice here in the scanner, what it does is it schedules a scan automatically to take place. The next day so in this case for me it will be tomorrow at 2 a.m. and by default that's probably what you're going to get sometimes 2 a.m. to something in the morning the next day but uh, we, we want to initiate a manual scan here so you want to click on this blue button to say scan and you just click on that and it's going to run now this scanning um, it does take it, it goes through pretty fast um, literally I think within like five to seven minutes so it doesn't take that long but I will say depending on how infected your computer is the time will vary okay so for me it's not going to be that long because like I said I've, I've installed and ran it before so the fact that I've actually ran it it's not gonna you know come up with a lot of stuff um, this and just a quick you know history for me like this was a, a application that I used to use it used to be like one of my secret tools that I would use on clients would call and say hey my computer is locking up it's freezing up I think it has a virus and um, 
uh, a lot of the, the antivirus applications like your Norton, your McAfee, AVG, uh, they, they, we would run them and they could not find or get rid of those viruses, but Malwarebytes could. Um, but before I discovered Malwarebytes, I, I couldn't figure out what needed to be done in order to, to, to remove, in order to remove, um, those, and you know, those viruses or mal malware, right? So I went on a crazy manhunt trying to figure out, okay, how can we do this, um, with, without, wiping the hard drive clean because that was going to be the next thing so this is just wipe everything off the hard drive which would take hours um so i i went on a search and i found malware bytes and i ran this little utility back then this is like 2010 2011 probably a little bit um older later than that and it literally got rid of the viruses now this is this is way before malware bytes was you know became as popular as it is today all right so as you can see, um, even though I ran it recently, it still found some um, items or items, yeah, items detected. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a quarantine. So once you get to this screen, what you wanna do is you wanna do a, a quarantine and quarantine is just what it is. It puts you, it puts the files in a place on your computer where it can no longer harm your computer or delete the files altogether, okay? So, uh, what you want to do here is just click on quarantine and it'll do just that and then once you're done you're presented with this um <clears throat> you're presented with this uh threat scan summary it tells you up the, the scan time so five minutes so like i said it doesn't really take that long but you know it depends on you know how much stuff you have on your computer how many files have been um infected and all that good stuff right the 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 Duration of time will determine that. Okay, um, and threats detected, and I think I'm trying to remember what this one stands for. Potentially unwanted programs, PUPS. Right, uh, it was 20, and PUMS. I'm not quite sure what this one stands for, but it didn't find any, and that's good. Now, once you're done, if you want to actually get more information, you can click on View Report right here. Okay, and it's pretty much just going to show you what it did on the other screen, just in more detail. That's what you're getting on the screen. All right, and then obviously, you know, it, it also shows where the files are located, you know, where the, the um, affected or infected files are located. You can go there. Um, I usually don't do all that stuff. I usually just, just look at the report to see where it is. Um, and then, you know, some got replaced, some got quarantined, and I just click on close, and then done. And then that's pretty much it. Um, and that's it, guys. That's that's like you know the first run of Malwarebytes. What you would do, how you would run it, how you would download, install, and actually run it. Okay. Now, um, another cool feature with with uh, with Malwarebytes is it has it now offers VPN. VPN, which is short for like virtual private networking, which gives you the ability to browse the internet. Um, uh, anonymously so it's like you know a secure way of browsing the internet so you don't get hacked into people people can't see you online it's, it's a great feature so they've added a lot of cool stuff they've added a lot of cool stuff um, since they first got started okay but we don't need that so that's the free version or the trial version um, of malware bytes if I, I do recommend that you you know after getting those initial malwares and um, and viruses removed from your computer I do recommend you know go ahead and just do the um, you can do the buy now or activate the license and I'll leave it in the description below where you can go to actually uh, download and install the premium version Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, comments, please leave your comments below. Um, would love if you like and share this video um, and, you know, if you found it helpful. All right, so thanks again for watching, guys. This is Andrew with Advanced PCs, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.